Hey YouTube, I just recently made a video of me uh, relocating my DSL modem, uh, the router. Uh, it's currently up there. I don't know if you can see it. It's that block of wood behind the speaker. Um, but anyways, uh, right now from here, you know, I have pretty good connection. It's because I'm outside of it. You know, it's it's perfect range. Uh, but my mom says that she doesn't have a very good connection in her room, uh, which is very understandable because the router is over there and her room is way over there in the corner. Uh, so, let me see. I'm just making a test of the uh, signal strength that are focused in. Uh, mine's the matrix. So, as soon as I hit the corner of the house, I lost one bar. Let me see. I gained it because uh, I flipped the tablet that way. But look, I automatically dropped two more bars. Let me see, we're still going. I dropped one more bar. And zero bars. Oh yeah, most definitely. So this is her, this one bar right here. This is outside of her window. Uh, it's connected at one bar, very, very low. And there it's zero bars. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to add an access point to our network. Alright, so I have a unusable, so I'm not using this, uh, wireless router. And we're just going to configure this wireless router to be an access point. Uh, to do so, all we simply need to do is, how I showed on my last video, I have uh, the, the uh, DSL modem here. I have one RCA, or um, RCA, RJ45 <laughs> cable, Cat5 cable going in here. And I have a uh, hub here, and I have one computer, two computer, three computers hooked up here I have a split monitor on one computer and the other one is just on one monitor I have a KVM cable there so I can switch in between PCs and cable comes out through there there powers there and I have it running I have another cable running uh, here because this one is for my audio system for my entertaining system uh, it reads all my music files off my computers this is an outdoor entertainment system I have it all everywhere right now but this is it right here uh, but what essentially what we're gonna do is well this is the connection for that but what we're gonna do is we're gonna bypass that we're gonna you have your four ports and then your internet connection uh, what we're going to connect this is into port 1, uh, into a client port. We're going to go ahead and power it up. Okay. So, uh, there's the lights. You can see them blinking now. Okay, so this router is working. Okay, so we're just going to leave that for now. Because uh, now we have to go back to our PC and configure it. And I believe the uh, IP for that one is 192.168.1.1. Okay, username blank, password admin. Okay, there we are. Okay, so now we have... Get a little bit closer because I'm holding the camera. Uh the router name actually let me sit this on the tripod all right well I have it sitting there on the tripod now it makes life a lot easier for everyone uh, so we're gonna change the router name um, let me show you first this is the uh, AT&T DSL connection here cool you can see it all there 
Uh, so, under Wi-Fi, uh, my network name, the wireless network name, is called The Matrix. So on this one, let's route the name to The Matrix. Access point. Okay, now this is the very important part here. What you want to do is you want to disable DHCP. You want to disable that. Okay, so you want to disable the DHCP, your local IP address, so we can know how to access this router here or this access point. Actually, we're going to put that to 253 because the other one is 254 and this won't be 253 a step down okay so we want to save our settings settings are successful and hit continue it's taking a minute okay and it uh, redirected me to my new uh, local IP address of uh, 192.168.1.253 so same thing username should be blank password is admin uh, I think I misspelled it <laughs> okay so yes we want Google Chrome to save it okay so here router name the matrix access point uh, local IP address 192.168.1.253 uh, DHCP server is disabled perfect let's go ahead and click on our wireless okay we want to head go ahead and name our wireless connection this is the name of the wireless that's visible when you search for a wireless connection this is the name that's gonna pop up we're gonna name it the matrix the same thing space access point okay uh, wireless network mode mix BNG that way you know it has more capabilities uh, save settings okay settings are successful continue security settings we're gonna enable WPA pre-share key okay and our uh, alpha rhythm actually yeah let's change our alpha uh, the uh, algorithm to AES Okay, our WPA shared key is going to be 559-J-O-R-G-E-L-O-P-E-Z. Uh, just so it's easier for everybody. And, you know, just for the people that know the code, and there will be an easy code for them to remember. You know, 559 is where you're at. Jorge Lopez is the host. <laughs> uh, so there, our, savings, our settings are saved. Let's go click on basic once again and click back on security just to make sure WPA shared key. Cool. Basic. Cool. Matrix access point. Everything's saved. Let's go ahead and just click on save one more time to make sure savings are successful. All right. So now our wireless router that we have set up is no longer a wireless router. It is now known as an access point. Okay. So let me see here. Give me a second. Zoom out a little bit. Let's put my tablet in front here. Okay, so let's go into uh, the Wi Fi. And it's scanning. And there we have both of our connections the matrix, the matrix access point. So I'm connected to the matrix right now, which is the uh, DSL uh, connection. So I should be able to browse. YouTube's coming up. Excellent. Internet's working. Okay, so now let's. I'm sorry. Go back into our settings. Now let's connect to the matrix access point. Connect. And it didn't ask for a password because I had configured this before I made the video to make sure it works. <laughs> so now I forgot it and show password 559 Jorge Lopez 
and connect. Okay, obtaining IP address. Connected. Okay, let's just check real quick what my IP address is. I have this cool app, it's called IP Tools. Uh, okay, it shows my IP gateway 192.168.254, which is the uh, DSL. Uh, it shows my IP address of 192.168.1.162, which is the next one. It's a valid IP address. Okay, so now let's open up Google Chrome. And we're able to browse. Let's search for anything. Let's see cats versus dogs. You know, just any random search to make sure the search engine is working. Boom. There, brought the research. Sweet. Bring some images. Sweet. Loaded up images just fine. And look, the matrix access point. Uh, so now I have two different types of wireless connections here in my house. I have the default DSL uh, by AT&T, which is the matrix. I have the default, the matrix access point, which is the, uh, uh, the, the what is it, Linksys. Uh, wireless router uh, like I said but no, it's no longer a router it is an access point now okay so now that that access point is created and connected let's go see what's the connect the connectivity speed in my mom's room all right and do take note that I will be moving this box up higher um, right now it's just in the taste face so it's just sitting right here right now eventually it's gonna be mounted up there somewhere I move that cable Continue stapling it up there and set up that box up there. Okay, so anyhow, let me see here. So, so right now we're connected to the matrix access point. And as you can see right now, the matrix, it's losing connectivity already. So is the access point. But here, we're on the other side now. This is my mom's room. Let me see. Okay, so this is through the outside. Uh, so from the inside of the house, it will be a lot, lot better. Oh, and I do have my keys with me. So we'll go inside the house right now to give it a try. But as you can see, the matrix access point is just one bar low. The matrix is two bar lows. But let's see, we've moved some more wall interference here. It stays the same. Well, anyways, uh, there, that's perfect. Stay right there. <laughs> so the matrix is one point, and the matrix access point is two lines. Uh, that's because of all the walls and stuff and like matrix is this is just completely gone but at least you know from out here of the house she will have still some so, sort of uh, signal to the network uh, let's go inside the house and let's see what's up with the uh, the speed in there bring back my screen here because I clicked it out okay so it's scanning right now okay the matrix is right outside right behind that chimney so it has a pretty good strength signal here but when it we go over here walking down the hallway I'm going to my parents room now and I'm gonna go sit in my mom's spot this is where she usually gets connected and stuff and takes care of business and uh, surprisingly I still have one connection let me one I'm sorry two little bars um, they just just right now just barely give me one oh 
Well, regardless, you know, it's uh, it's still pretty low connection. Um, and the matrix access point is three bars. And like I said, and when I put it up higher, when I mount it up to the uh, ceiling of the roof, it's going to increase dramatically, most definitely. So there, it's connected. Let's try one of my mom's computers here. We have her laptop. I know, I noticed it when I was messing with her laptop here. I was like, whoa, you have, like, no bars. Uh... Okay, so here, you know, the matrix access point is still pretty good. Uh, the matrix there, excellent. That's what I want. That's the result I want right there. One bar from the matrix, that matrix access points, almost full bars. Uh, so, let me see here. Change adaptive settings. View the status. Okay, so it only shows like it has two bars. Very low connection. So let's see. We're gonna close this out. Let's uh, connect and disconnect. And we're going to connect to the matrix access point. Connect automatically. Five five nine. Jorge Lopez. Okay. Okay. Thank you, computer, for letting me know you're dying. Do you want this PC discoverable? Yes. Checking network requirements. Secure. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Let's close this out. Status. Look, it has four bars now, so it completely went up a lot. Uh, so that worked, and that is how you make an access point from your existing internet connect. Okay, so just to recap, so we have our wireless router now, which is no longer a router. It is an access point to our internet connection here. This connection is directly to our DSL box, and is connected to client port 1. What we did was disable DHCP on the internet connection or on that router itself on the settings. Uh, there's our primary and this is where we did our settings on the uh, wireless router itself. Changed the access point name. Uh, we disabled DHCP server what needs to be done in order for this to work um, because it is no longer working as a router it is now acting as an access point and that's it that's how you make an access point uh, that I know of there's no limitation of access points you can make a mini access as much as access points as you want you just need to connect one cat5 cable to either modem and then uh, or you know modem and access point and then just continue extending just keep continue connecting on your client port disabling DHCP and you can have connections from God knows where also I forgot to mention uh, well now that I have this here this cable is being used up so I can't use it for my entertainment system but what I could use is another port here and then connect that one to my entertainment system I just need another cat5 cable Yay. So, like I said, that's all you do to make an access point. Just disable DHCP and you're good to go. I just wanted to show where I remounted this uh, access switch, this access point. Uh, it's there mounted into the ceiling of the roof with the little antennas pointing towards the, the window. So that way it gets the best connection as possible. Uh, so yeah.
That's it. And I just came to check in my mom's room real quick on her computer. There we go. Almost full bars. Sweet. Awesome. It worked. Alright. Thank you for watching.